Hello Scorpio, how are you? I hope this finds you well. So we are going to be doing your weekly reading. It is a general reading. It may not be able to resonate for all of you. And if you want something that is meant for your exact energy, I do have personals open and everything that you need to know will be in the description box below for you. We are inviting your angels, spirit guides, and ancestors to come in and assist us with this reading today. All right, Scorpio, we're taking a look at some overall messages and themes. Then we are going to get into your tarot where we're looking at the energy, your energy, the energy of the person that you're dealing with or will be dealing with, the challenge between the two of you and the potential outcome. We have closed heart at the bottom of the deck, waiting. I promise I won't hurt you and forever changed. Let's take a look at the person that you're dealing with. We're going to get you guys' energy out here. Scorpio, either you or the person that you're dealing with or we'll be dealing with here. Um, I feel like somebody's just been very, very hurt in the past. And whether by this person or by somebody else. Um, and somebody is very, very emotionally guarded. Even closed off. It's like whatever they went through, um, whether it was one traumatic situation or... A series of them um, but it has kind of changed this person here whether this is you or the person that you're dealing with we will have to take a look and see you know Scorpio I feel like it could be you um, get the four of cups here you know the four of cups is a card of a closed off heart it's like not wanting to let something get too close or not wanting to let anybody in here and I feel like you guys could have been this way for a little bit Okay, some of you guys could be dealing with a Cancer Leo or a Pisces. You also have Virgo here. You got Air Energy, Libra particularly. You do have Earth Energy as well. But the Hangman and the Seven of Wands. Yeah, it's like blocking something out here. Being very defensive, being very guarded. And the Hangman, it's like whatever you have been through, especially with this forever change here. It's like whatever you guys have been through has changed you. Whatever pain you guys have been through it's caused you to really close off to to love to getting hurt now you have somebody here their feelings are the ten of cups so somebody could be just wanting to make you happy somebody could be wanting to have a family this could be somebody that you do have a family with so for some of you guys, I feel like this could be somebody new. For some of you guys, it could be somebody from your past. Just take it how it resonates. Um, they have the Eight of Pentacles here for their intention. So I do feel like somebody here wants to work on this. You know, and I feel like they want to have something with you here. There's something here where they feel like you are worth the effort, Scorpio. They can see that you're a little bit guarded here, um, that you've been through some things. I feel like they just feel like you're worth it, like you're worth putting in this work for you're worth the effort Scorpio and you are their actions I like this words actions intentions all aligning here okay they could be saying that they do want to make you happy you know that they they have feelings for you here that they do want to work on this that they are willing to be patient um, especially with this waiting energy and this eight of pentacles and then their actions are backing it up there's a very solid offer here Challenge between the two of you is the Page of Swords. I feel like you could be very skeptical. Okay, you could be very skeptical about this person, Scorpio. And maybe you're like, you know what? I need to see it. I need to see more first. We're going to clarify some of this in a moment. You know, I think it's just very hard for you to believe that anything good can happen to you when it comes to love. I think some of you guys have been through so much that you just, it's hard for you to believe. You have this three of swords here uh, for the potential outcome. So let's take a look and see what's going on here. To, to me, that says the them coming out right next to each other. The page has a sword and there's three swords. That's four swords. You know, that is going quiet or, you know, separation. And, you know, somebody here, you know, people can only take so much rejection, Scorpio. So let's take a look and see. Show me, tell me about... Uh, 
Tell me about Scorpio's energy here with this hangman. Seven of Wands energy, the Queen of Swords. And the Nine of Pentacles. You could feel like what's best for you is to be on your own. This is like, I'm better off on my own. I do better on my own. You could be, you know, even communicating that with somebody here. Some of you guys are really focused on yourselves, your goals, you know, your money. Becoming your best self. Not that those are bad things. They're wonderful things. Okay. Um, but sometimes we have to take a look at why. Are we, are we taking time being single and focusing on these things because that's what's best for us to do at this time? Because we still need to heal and we're working on things? Or is it because we are afraid to get hurt? You know, are we preventing ourselves from opening up to stuff again because of our past? You know, we just need to take a look at the whys. The whys are very important here. Tell me about this. Uh, tell me about this Eight of Pentacles here. Why is that their intention? You know, we have this, I promise I won't hurt you energy here. And the Queen of Cups. Somebody has feelings for you. But I also feel the Queen of Cups is somebody who's very, very compassionate. Uh, very, very understanding. Very empathetic. So I do feel like this person has been through things too. And it's easy for them to understand, you know, why you, how you have gotten to this place. Even if, whether this is a new person or a past person. For, for those of you where this is a past person, you know, I do feel like um, they still have a lot of love for you and they miss you, okay? Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles energy. The Two of Cups, they feel like you are their person, okay? They feel like you're their person. They feel like you're worth waiting for. But they could see that you're different here. Tell me about this Page of Swords energy. Queen of Pentacles. You could be a little bit out of a crossroads. And you're very skeptical. Like I said, some of you guys are focused on your goals and your resources. And that's all you're giving your attention to. And you could... You know, I almost feel like some of you guys could be deceiving yourselves a little bit. In the fact that, like, it's like, oh, I don't really want those things. Or, oh, I'm, I'm better off on my own. Or something like that here. Like I said, there's... It is an amazing thing to take time to heal and to take time to work on yourself. Um, but just make sure that you want to, you know why you're doing it. Make sure you're being very honest with yourself about why you're taking this time. You know, why you're not opening up to something here. Because the Four of Cups, the Seven of Wands, you know, that's a very, uh, it's a very closed off guarded energy here. Tell me about this Three of Swords. You got this Knight of Wands energy. The Page of Wands in the reverse. And the Six of Swords. You know, I feel like a lot of you guys could just be communicating with this person that you, you're you not interested, that you want to be single here. Um, and I don't, I feel like this person has a lot of desires for you, but I don't feel like you're able to trust them. And maybe for some of you guys where this is a past person, it's because of what happened between the two of you in the past. For others of you, it's just because of the, the past people that you've dealt with. Maybe they've been players, maybe they've been cheaters, this or that. You know, maybe they've abandoned you in the past. Um, so now it's like you're, you're just not able to trust it, especially the Page of Swords. That can be a very skeptical energy. Um, the Page of Wands, it's like you're in the reverse. It's like you're not willing to take that step. You're not willing to move in that direction. The Six of Swords. You know, I feel like this person is very hurt and disappointed, but I do feel like ultimately, um, as upset as they are, get the Six and the Three here, which make the Nine. I think they are upset about the situation, but I do feel like eventually they start to move on. So, Scorpio, if you're if you're not opening up to this, like I said, it's all about the why. If, if it's because this person specifically isn't healthy for you, you know, I do see that they're going to move on. Um, but if this is a new person and this is somebody who hasn't given you any of those reasons and you're just closed off to it because you don't want to get hurt, I would take a look at that, okay? Only you guys get to decide what's best for you, though. But that is what I have for you, Scorpio. Now, if this resonates, let me know. And if it doesn't, check out your other placements. Everything that you need to know, whether it's about this reading, scheduling your personals, Patreon, or the tarot course, all of that is in the description box below for you. And if you want personal prayers for any reason, you can just put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below, and I will go through and pray for you. But if this is where we part, thank you guys so much for being here and supporting me, and I will see you soon.